Hello and welcome to our network segmentation course. I'm Professor Wool and today's lesson we'll be discussing the challenges of east-west traffic discovery for network segmentation. So our starting point is you have a data center. This sketch is supposed to be the data center. You have all kinds of servers in the data center and you have some client networks outside the data center connecting to these servers uh, and there's communication going on from the clients to the servers and possibly among the servers themselves. Some servers have to communicate with other servers and all of this is working just fine and supporting your business. And now you've made the decision to segment the data center because you're concerned about insider attacks, you want to um, uh, partition the internal data center and control what, what can be communicated between various points inside and outside of the data center. So you've made the decision to segment the data center, and now you need to implement that decision. Well, the, the first step to do is basically to place a filtering device, a firewall, in a choke point in the network. So you identify where you could place a firewall in the center of the traffic in the data center so that it can see all the traffic flows that it needs to filter and you've made the decision to place a firewall there. So far so good, but you still have to face a pretty significant challenge of writing the filtering policy on that firewall. And writing the filtering policy really needs to be a balancing act uh, that meets two goals. First of all, it needs to allow all the business traffic to go through because the last thing you want is for that new firewall that you're placing in the middle of your data center to start blocking critical traffic. So it needs to allow all the business traffic that is legitimate, it needs to allow. However, you want the filtering policy to be precise enough that it's not allowing anything else. You do not want to allow any traffic from anywhere to anywhere. Of course, if you write such a rule, then you will be allowing all business traffic, all business critical traffic to go through, but the firewall will really not be doing anything because it's so broadly configured that it won't block any kind of malicious traffic. So there's a delicate balance here. You need to, on the one hand, identify all the business traffic and write firewall rules capturing precisely that traffic. On the other hand, you want to limit yourself not to be too broad so that you avoid the any any rules and you ha have something specific that will block any kind of malicious traffic trying to go through. Okay, well the trouble is that you don't really know all these traffic patterns in the data center. This is usually undocumented. Many organizations just don't keep very good records of what each server is doing and what each client requires and what all of these communication patterns are really contributing to. Um, and if you need to write policy to capture that, then you have to find this information out from somewhere. And that's a challenge. Um, and in our next segment, we'll be talking about some techniques and mechanisms that let you do that based on the network traffic that you can observe. Just to give you a preview, fundamentally you can place some kind of traffic sniffer or look at the traffic that is going through the firewall and incrementally build up the policy based on what you see. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for your attention.